Declassified documents about the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks expose a variety of disturbing and sometimes mysterious details, muddying the accepted narrative of how such an attack could occur, including questions of intelligence failures, possible foreknowledge, and covert involvement by foreign governments and their spy agencies. These revelations have fueled debates over how much the US government knew and whether certain powerful figures were shielded from scrutiny. One of the more contentious aspects revealed through the declassified documents pertains to Saudi Arabia. A number of reports, including that from Operation Encore, an FBI investigation into the alleged Saudi connection, outline a number of Saudi nationals, including officials, as helping the hijackers. Most notably, Omar al bayoumi a Saudi government employee, was in direct contact with two of the 9-11th hijackers, Nawaf al-Hazmi and Khalid al midhar Despite being scrutinized by the FBI, al bayoumis direct role remains mired in ambiguity. After meeting the two hijackers in a Los Angeles restaurant just weeks after their arrival in the United States, al bayoumi provided financial support to them. He helped the two find an apartment and provided them with money. Bayoumi maintained that these meetings were coincidental. The declassified files reveal frequent contact between him and the Saudi consulate in the United States and also with Saudi intelligence. More documents point the finger of guilt at Fahad al-Tumari, another Saudi official stationed at the Saudi consulate in Los Angeles. He was supposed to be linked to Al-Qaeda and gave logistical support to the hijackers. Declassified FBI memos and intelligence reports detail how several calls took place between Saudi diplomats, including Al-Tumari and key figures in the terror networks, raising questions of whether these officials could have been complicit in facilitating the attacks. The Pentagon's accounting enigma. Probably one of the strangest coincidences of 9-11's concerns an attack on the financial offices of the Pentagon. The plane that hit the Pentagon pierced an area of the building where an audit was in process for unaccounted for funds. Astonishing $2.3 trillion had vanished from the Department of Defense, reported by the Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld, on September 10, 2001. The financial records destroyed during the attack on the Pentagon aroused suspicion in that some of the key personnel performing the audit were killed and many documents were lost. The twist that really raised many eyebrows had to do with speculation that this part of the building was deliberately targeted in order to prevent the public disclosure of financial mismanagement or corruption. Some analysts have gone so far as to suggest that the destruction of the records erased a paper trail, which could have revealed where the trillions went. In the months leading up to the attacks, numerous witnesses came forward describing workers conducting suspicious activities in the World Trade Center buildings. From janitors to security personnel, Accounts of workmen accessing restricted areas through the testimonies and declassified documents include reports of construction without any signs of explanation, along with many other similarly suspicious behaviours. Perhaps most disturbing of all, the attack dogs that had patrolled the buildings day and night for many months were removed only days before the attack. Building 7 was one of the strangest aspects of 9-11s. It collapsed in a way that was consistent with controlled demolition, yet it was not attacked by an airplane. The official cause, fire from debris of the North Tower, has been dubious to numerous experts because of the clean and symmetrical way it fell completely into its own footprint in a manner typical of a controlled implosion. Equally revealing, the declassified files show that Building 7 housed many sensitive offices, such as the Secret Service and CIA. Some theories even held that maybe something vitally important was stored inside this building and needed to be deliberately destroyed. Other aspects revealed through the documents involve several intelligence warnings that were apparently ignored or downplayed in the months before 9-11. There were many pieces of information to suggest that such an attack involving planes was likely. Infamously, there was the August 6, 2001 presidential daily briefing entitled Bin Laden Determined to Strike in US, which clearly presented a possibility of hijacking and attacks on US soil. However, because of the lack of sharing critical intelligence by CIA and FBI agencies, this became a less coordinated effort. Besides these, there had been warnings coming from across the globe, which included warnings coming from US allies in the Middle East. Those reports hinted at a major terror attack against crucial American landmarks. However, most of these warnings either did not get the seriousness they deserved or were dismissed by the intelligence agencies. 
The declassified documents related to 9-11th do not offer sharply contrasting alternatives, but they surely reveal a number of questions that still remain shrouded in mystery. From the possible involvement by Saudi Arabia and the Pentagon's financial mysteries to suspicious pre-attack activity and intelligence failures, these new revelations deepen the intrigue surrounding one of the most catastrophic days in modern history. The collapse of Building 7, the removed security and the financial coincidences continue to fire speculation about who may have truly been behind such attacks and what their ultimate motives were. And yet, more and more documents continue to surface, where the story of 9-11 continues to grow even more confused and mysterious. With the official account challenged from many perspectives and further investigation into the most scrutinized event in US history remaining open. Thank you for spending time with us through Spookscope today. Feel free to share your thoughts and theories in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. Until next time, my dear Spooker, stay curious.